Hello, and thank you for purchasing the kit that you see in front of you. Today I'm going to be showing you how to quickly assemble it. I'm going to start off with probably the hardest part to assemble, and that is going to be the upper lift piece right here. So, I'll show you how to do that. Make sure that it is facing this way when you're assembling it, because when it goes inside here, as you can see, it'll hit that. So. When you install this, it has to be going this way. So make sure that the that this fork here is facing in the same direction as this bottom piece right here. So to install it, you put one side in like this. As you can see, it's still in there, but the other side isn't. You push out the other side slightly, and then it pops right in. And like that. It's in, and it stays in. If you want to then install it in this, you just slide it into the rails and you're good. And now it goes up and down. Same thing with this piece in the middle. So that is that part assembled. That is the hardest one to assemble. Make sure, like I said, um, and you'll have a little sheet that tells you, make sure that you paint all these parts before you assemble them. Uh, just because once glued on, it's hard to take resin apart. And if you want to use glue, this is the kind of glue I use. So next we are going to get to the installation of the rear wheel. Let's focus this. So put the rear wheel inside, not there. Let me get this better view for you. Put this inside the tracks right there. You'll notice it'll sit right inside. And then get the wheel blocks right here, if it focuses. Um, and make sure that you put, oh my lord, this is not focusing. Make sure you put a little bit of glue inside these holes here before you install these blocks. I'm not gonna do that in this just because this is for installation. Then you just drop the block on. You see it sits in there, nice and snug. And do the same for the other one. You can use tweezers or your hands, but using tweezers makes it a bit easy. So now you can see the wheel rolls in there. When you glue this down, make sure you roll the wheel very gently so that way it doesn't seize up and then it'll roll nice and well. This space right here is for counterweights, so that way it doesn't flip over if you put weights on there. Those are not included, but you put as many in there as you need. Next, we're going to get to the front wheel assembly. Should have two front wheels and a little axle. First, Put the axle through this little guy, and then it'll go all the way through, like this. Then grab the forklift, place it through the larger axle hole right here, and then you're going to have to shimmy the wheel a bit to get it in there, and then the axle's through. Get your other wheel, you're going to have to kind of angle it a bit like this, and then Pop it in. Now you have a front axle. These wheels spin. And you can glue them around. And like I said, to make sure they roll right, just roll the wheels very gently so that way nothing seizes up. All right. Now for installing the top piece here. Line it up with the axle hole like this. The best way to hold it is like this. And then you can easily push it in and hold it. Get your axle. And then place it through here. You can see the axle going through. Line up the other hole and push it through. And now your axle's in there. When it comes to placing glue, place the glue right here and here so that way you do not jam it up on either side. This will allow the piece to move freely. So you can tilt it, 
back up and down. So that is your assembly guide for your forklift kit. I hope you have a fun time with your model, and if you have any questions, please contact me on my social media platforms. Thank you.